Welcome back to uh, Ben 10, Protector of Earth, where we start moving our way into Yellowstone. After defeating Snapdragon, oh, I didn't realize that was the name of the last enemy, and recovering another Omnitrix Crystal, the Tennyson's focus on eliminating the last remaining pockets of resistance. So again, this is just another wave battle. Uh, should be a shorter episode. If you'd like, feel free to skip this if you don't, if you didn't like the previous one, you felt it was too short or whatever, but you go back a few years in uh, YouTube history, that's the sort of length that you were dealing with before. Then again, it was a little bit more cut up. Uh, oh well. Just help out Yellowstone real quick. Yeah. All these rotting plants reek. Look who's talking. Don't you remember our talk about forearms needing four times the deodorant? I mean... He is a muscly dude, so he would sweat a little bit more, and he exerts a little bit more energy than regular humans. But wouldn't he only need twice the deodorant? Because you use one stick of deodorant for two arms. I don't know, four arms is a big dude, and it might take an entire stick of deodorant to cover one arm. Oh god! Actually, uh, uh, let's test out Wild Vine. Oh. Nice. He's got a lot more girth to his attacks. <laughs> girth isn't the right word to use there. Oh, what's his circle move now that I think about it? Oh, that's so cool! That's such a cool move. Goes down on the ground, traps and hits the enemies, and then you can just get a few free hits on because they're stunned. And Wildline's good, I don't remember him being this good, why? And now the cousins are going to fight. Ouch! Fuck you! Wildvine is a little bit underleveled at this time because he doesn't have enough moves. Ouch! That hurt. But I know for a fact that if I continue to use them, him, excuse me, that he can be a very valuable asset to the team. Oh, I didn't realize Wild Vine could own- but maybe- maybe that Thorn guy was a bit out of reach. No? Because Wild Vine's attack hit that Thorn Hound. Maybe just smaller characters are only able to be ensnared or something. My god, there's not a lot of- that I can do against that guy. Maybe Cannon Bolt is- better for that guy. Huh. Okay. I don't know if, like, uh... If Heat Blast and Wild Vine do a little bit less damage, whereas... Uh... Heat Blast, Accelerate, and, uh... Wild Vine do less damage because they're smaller characters, whereas Cannon Bolt and Forearms, because they're, like, heavies, might do a bit more. Oh! Uh, Sonic Rush, please. Circle, triangle. Gotcha. Now, if you'll excuse me. Come on, transform! I don't remember that move. I explicitly remember the next move of the Circle Generation. And I won't tell you what that is, but I vividly remember it uh, changing Accelerate. And what it does is that it, I think it's a glitch in the game or like a bug. It actually speeds up Accelerate and makes him go even faster. 
I don't know if that's just like something that they programmed in the game, but Heck was that? It used up half of Accelerate's power as well. Good job, Ben. Let's get back on the road. Oh, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> what a short uh, cutscene. Short and sweet. I actually kind of like it. Normally, you don't see that in games. Oh, huh. you wouldn't really see that in games nowadays. You know, something that I always found charming about the show is even though Ben would find out uh, how to use the Omnitrix better or how to use it longer or when he accidentally like, wait, play secret challenge? Was that on the last one? Was that on the last uh, wave? What? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll look back on the other wave one, see if that's on that as well, because I didn't notice that before, if it was. But, I always found it charming that the show, like, even though it's kind of like a plot device to keep the show moving, and keep the show running, is even though Ben would continue to try and get farther into understanding how the Omnitrix worked and everything, there was always something that seemed to go wrong in what he thought he was doing. But it would work out in favor. Like, it... The show's just good. It's a good show. So let me... Let me just go to the next location real quick. Let me zoom out. Okay. So it was here. Let me zoom in. No. Okay, so it wasn't for this one. I'm out of that. What was the other one that I got the A rank on? Uh, Seattle. So there's no special one there. What? What happened to make this one pop up? Play secret challenge? Was it because it is just a wave one? If you get an A rank on the waves, it helps clear them out? I don't know. Either way... Uh, we're moving into the Midwest next time. But that's for the future episode. For now, I'll leave you with a message of... Have a nice day.